Hey guys, this is a video for one of my mastermind students in school. Um, I'm not going to share my screen because I don't want this video getting taken down uh, because of the address or any of the personal information. Um, however, I think this can be a really good training experience for everybody over on YouTube land as well as a good response to my student Aaron who made $29,000 last week wholesaling houses he said I just got a property under contract today at 50k and this is a property that's located over in 63135 here in St. Louis excuse me I'm not going to say the um, address as well because I want to protect uh, Aaron's deal here he said I'm thinking about keeping this one myself as a burr it's a three bed one bath 864 square foot no basement just a crawl space uh, so no problem. Three three one eight sixty four. Just a crawl space. Everything is old and it needs to be replaced, but looks like nothing major. That's great. What are your thoughts on this? And what are your rough estimates for rehab, rental rate, ARV, and your thoughts on this area? Happy to hear an offer from Derek, who's another mastermind member. He had tagged in the post over on school, or anyone as well, of course. So I'm gonna look at the photos and I'm going to send Aaron my. Um, guess um, of what I think the ARV is, educated guess. I've been doing this a long time, um, as well as what I think the rental rate is and what I think the rehab is, right? My my best guesstimate of those figures. That's going to be private. I um, reserve that for my mastermind members only. Again, it's one of the reasons why I'm not sharing my screen. However, this particular property is located in um, 63135, which is a city here in St. Louis. Um, I believe it's in Delwood. Now, that zip code doesn't always line up exactly with the municipality, uh, but typically Delwood falls within that zip code of 63135. I was made aware literally last week that the city of Delwood has some new requirements for rental properties. Those requirements are that you are not allowed to rent a property on a street that has 30% or more rentals already. So in the event, Aaron or Derek or anybody else in the mastermind that maybe wants to buy this home as a rental, be careful in the city of Delwood, right? Specifically Delwood, but 63135 zip code as well. Reason is, is if there's already 30% or more rentals on that street and you buy this, you can't own it as a rental. You're going to be forced to sell it, maybe sell it on terms, sell it for cash, you know, rehab it if you want, but you can't own it as a rental. Additionally, let's say that the street is 20%, 25%, whatever, under 30, and you buy it as a rental. Well, all of a sudden, if more people come in and get that to 30%, and then this property turns over in a year, you're not gonna be grandfathered in, right? You're gonna have to then go get a new occupancy inspection and a new permit to rent it, and you might be forced to sell it later. The reason I know this is because I was looking at a recent property in Delwood in the 63135 zip code, and I made an offer on it. And I actually got a pretty good deal, you know, verbal offer accepted. But I had a friend on Facebook reach out and say, hey, be careful. I've actually had to unload several of my rentals within the city of Delwood recently because there's no grandfathering. He had these as rentals. They changed the rule. Other people came in and, and had rentals on his particular street. By the time that they turned over for him, he was unable to re-lease these properties because the street had already had been at or above 30%. And it's really Delwood's way or approach to, you know, just having less than 30% rentals on any street. I don't necessarily agree with this rule. This happened previously a few years back in a city called Berkeley here in St. Louis, Missouri as well. They had that rule in place for, I'm guessing here, four or five years, and the town kind of went to crap because a lot of these properties that need a bunch of work, particularly in that you know area of Berkeley, um, the only people that were going to be able to buy them and fix them up were investors. Owner-occupants 
didn't have the resources to buy properties. Most owner occupants don't buy properties that need work and then go fix them up and move into them. That's why investors are so valuable is that we come in and we fix these properties up. Maybe we rent them, maybe we sell them, but regardless, we're fixing the properties up. We're increasing the amount of taxes the city collects on those and we're preventing vacancies, which prevents crime and drug and all these other things. So without going on and on and wasting a bunch of your time, I'm actually just going to call the city of Delwood on this call. And the funny thing about this is city of Delwood and see if this can be one that can be rented today. Now, just because it can be rented today doesn't mean that it can be rented, you know, in a year or two from now, things are going to change. Let's do Delwood city hall instead call. I'm going to have to mute my microphone. Once I say the address again, I want to, protect Aaron's deal from the changed. internet. If this is an emergency, hang up and I do dial like these prompts. To reach a police officer, hang up and dial 314-428-6868. If you are calling to find out if someone is incarcerated, <laughs> hang up and dial 314-428-6868. That's what you get in for the D class areas. Press two. For City Hall, please press three. So we're plus and three for City Hall. So I'm just calling City Hall. That's all I'm doing. This is the Delwood specific City Hall. Yeah, hi. I uh, am looking to purchase a property potentially. And I just wanted to see if it A, fell within the Delwood city limits of the municipality of Delwood and B, if it was on a street that had 30% less rentals. You guys have a new rule up there, right? That's correct. Okay, great. Do you want me to give you the address or where do we go from here? Yes, the address, please. Great. No, that's not Delwood. That is not Delwood. Okay, good. I'm so glad that I called. So okay. the, the Delwood, obviously, does it all fall within 63135 or no? Yeah. 63136 as well. It does. Okay. But not everything in 63135 and 63136 is, of course, Delwood. That's correct. It's just that municipality. So this particular property does not fall within Delwood, so there would be no rule there. That's correct. Great. Thank you for your time today. Have an awesome day. You too. Bye -bye. Thanks. Bye-bye. Okay. Cool. So, guys and girls, awesome news, especially for Aaron. This particular property doesn't fall within Delwood, so there is no rule that I'm aware of. You may want to check with that local municipality. But I've been investing in St. Louis for 10 plus years full time. Berkeley was the only one that I was aware of. They started it. They stopped it because their their properties were kind of going to shit. And as of pretty recently, I think within just the last year or two, Delwood has done this too. So when I saw that 63135 zip code, it just kind of triggered a red flag. Luckily, this isn't within Delwood. So there is no issues there. All right. I'm going to then... I'm going to end this video and I'm going to do my analysis and send it over to Mr. Aaron inside of the mastermind. But I just figured this could be a good call, a good learning experience for those that are investing in St. Louis, specifically 63135. And I guess now part of 63136 that fall within the city of Delwood.